This is video 7.4. We will be solving a problem with centripetal acceleration. The question. A block slides down a frictionless ramp and passes through a loop-de-loop -loop as illustrated in the diagram below. We'd like to know what is the minimum height h of the top of the ramp where the block starts out such that the block will maintain contact with the circle when it's at the top of its path. Step one will be to draw a force body diagram of the block when it's at the top of its path. We have the block in contact with the ramp because we're assuming that the block is still in contact with the ramp. And we have the gravitational force which acts at the center of the block to pull it downwards and we also have a normal force of the ramp acting on the block. So the net force will be the sum of these forces. And by Newton's second law, it has to be equal to ma. Now if the block is undergoing circular motion, which is one of the assumptions that we're making, that the block is still undergoing circular motion at the top of its path, then the acceleration is centripetal acceleration. And the formula for that is v squared over r. If we plug that in for a, we have mv squared over r has to be equal to the net force. Now here's the condition that the block has the minimum velocity. If the block has the minimum velocity, then we want to set the normal force equal to zero. If the block is going faster than its minimum, then it's still in contact with the ramp and it's pushing up against the ramp and the ramp's pushing down on it. But at the point where it's just sort of floating at the top of its path, but still in contact, the normal force is equal to zero. Drawing from that line of equations, we see that mg, which is the force of gravity, has to be equal to mv squared over r. If we cancel out the masses, we find that g is equal to v squared over r when the block is going the minimum velocity that it can and still maintain contact with the loop at the top of its path. So now we want to find this minimum velocity. Well, we start with the relation we just found, g equals v squared over r. And multiplying both sides by r, we have that v squared is equal to rg. The radius of the loop is 4 meters, because in the diagram below we've drawn the diameter, the whole height of the loop, which is 8 meters, so the radius is 4 meters, and we have the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And we find an expression for v squared. Now we'll actually be using v squared instead of v on the next slide, so I won't bother taking the square root. Now we'll find the minimum height that corresponds to this velocity. We'll do this using the conservation of energy. The initial energy is all gravitational potential energy, equal to mgh, where h is the unknown variable that we're solving for. And the final energy, when the block is at the top of the circle, is both gravitational and kinetic. The block is at a height 8 meters above the ground, so it has an energy, gravitational potential energy, mg8, and it has kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared. We want to solve for h, so we can cancel out the m's. And then we can divide both sides by g, and on the left hand side we have h by itself, and on the right hand side we have 8 plus v squared over 2g. Now we can plug in the v squared that we just found, 39.2, and we can plug in the value for g. We find that that expression now simplifies to 8 plus 2 or 10. 10 meters, that's the minimum height that the ramp can have such that the block will make it all the way around the loop-de-loop. 
And that concludes video 7.4. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.